Um, Are you feeling sick or did you have no lessons today? Uh, and today I'm not, um, I'm not lesson. Uh, no lessons today. So you stayed at home all day. That's very relaxing, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome to the lesson, Luon and Beauty. It's great to have both of you here today. Today we are going to talk about cultural differences. I'm going to start the lesson now. We will still wait for the other students, um, but we're just going to start in the meantime. Okay, today our conversation topic is, how do teachers dress at school? So I want you to think about your teachers, but before we do that, I want you to have a look at this picture here. Okay, so we will see four different rows of pictures. In the first picture, A, Beauty, which picture is different in A? Picture one, picture two, picture three, or picture four? Um, I think picture three. Picture three, why? Because the man wears a, a blue t-shirt and the others wear a, a pink t-shirt. The yeah. pink color. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So the others are all wearing pink. This man is wearing blue. Okay, good job, Beauty. Luon, B, which one is different there? I think uh, picture four. Picture four? Why? Uh, uh, it struck, it struck a hand. Yes, the <clears throat> sleeves, right? There are no sleeves. All the other pictures have the sleeves. Picture four doesn't. Yes. You're yeah, right. Yes. Good job, Luol. And C, beauty. Mm, I think picture two. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why? I think about the, the different colors. Um, the the picture two has um a different color. Uh, uh between uh, the other um, picture. Yeah. It, the color is different to the other people's pictures. I agree. Well done, Beauty. And then D, Luon. Which one is different I think, here? Uh, I think um, picture, picture, I, picture, picture, picture four. I, the first one, picture one. Yeah, yes. Why? Uh, it's a luxury dress. Ah, okay. It's a I luxury dress so. and the I other pictures so. are yes. not luxury? Yes. Okay, could be. You're, you could be right. Or maybe it's D, the fourth one, because it's green and the others are neutral. But you could be right. Maybe that's luxury. Okay, very good. Now we're going to have a look at a little quiz that we're going to do. I'm going to share a different tab with you now. Can we all see the picture? Okay, I see that T has joined. Hi, T. Hi, teacher. How are you? Alpha. Oh, are you sick, T? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, I hope you feel better, right? Thank you so much for coming to the lesson today, even if you're feeling very sick. Today's class is all about cultural differences, and we're just going to do a quick quiz about clothing. Okay. Let's get started over here. A few questions that we're going to answer. Question number one is for you, Beauty. So, Beauty, which clothing do you think is Scotland? A, B, C, or D? Uh, a. A. Good job, Beauty. Luone, question number two is for you. 
Which clothing do you think is from China? A, B, C, or D? I choose picture B. B. Good job. Well done, Luon. And number three is for you, T. So, T, which picture do you think is from India? A, B, C, or D? Number C. C. Good job. Well done. Everybody did great so far. Okay, bonus round. We're just going to have a look at points. Okay, our next question is for you, Beauty. Question four. So, Beauty, which picture is from Japan? Uh, D. D. Well done. The next picture is for you, Luon. Which picture is from Korea? Picture A. A. Well done. Okay, and the next one is for you, T. T, which picture is from Russia? Uh, B. B. Okay, very good. So far, we're doing great with all the, the outfits. We have a bonus round, then we have two more questions. Beauty, the next question will be for you. Okay, here you go, Beauty. Question seven. Which picture is from Vietnam? B. B. Okay. Good job. And our last question is for you, Luon. Which picture is from Italy? I choose picture B. B? Huh. I think it's C. <laughs> oh, it is B. Oh, okay. Well done, Luon. <laughs> okay. I would have gone for C. Okay, great. Now, let's have a look at our next one. A few questions and answers. I'm going to show you four people here. Um, T, do you know where these people are from? T, can you hear me? Okay, I don't hear you, T. Luon, let's try you. Do you know where these people are from? Luon, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, great. Do you know where they are from? I think they are from America. <laughs> yes, they are an American friends group, so they are called friends. Okay, very good. They are from America. Kim, do you think these four people could wear these clothes to a wedding in Vietnam? Beauty. Um, I think, I think yes. Uh, they can try to wear um, clothes uh, of a wedding in Vietnam. Okay. And what is it, what is the best way to dress to a wedding in Vietnam, Beauty? What do you think? Um, I think it's uh, tend to a more traditional, uh, traditional in Vietnam and have um, like, yeah, traditional. More traditional. Okay, that's great. 
Okay, thank you, Vuti. Very good answer. Now, over here on the next slide, we are going to complete the sentences using clothes vocabulary. Okay, so you can complete the sentence with any of your ideas. Okay, T, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, T, tell me. Sentence number one, could you complete that for us? What would you say for sentence number one? I must never wear a dress. You almost never wear a dress? Yes. You don't like dresses? Yes. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Okay, you don't know, you just don't like it. Okay, that's okay, T. Thank you for your answer. Luone, question number two is for you. Luone, you can hear me? Yes, I'm here. Great. Question number two, sentence two. I think people wear, um, people wear three, three, three whole shirt in a, okay. in a, I think a t-shirt just when it's hot. When it's hot, shirts and t-shirts. Okay. People wear shirts and t-shirts when it's hot. Thank you, Luone. Very good sentence. The next one, beauty. Number three. People in my country generally wear LEI and wedding dress to weddings. Ah, yes. Wedding dresses. <laughs> well, if it is your wedding, right? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> and what about if you are a guest to the wedding, if it's your friend's wedding? Um, if I were a guest uh, in the wedding, I will um, wear like dress um, and um, some like just um, luxury dress uh, to um, my friend's wedding. Okay, a luxury dress, a very beautiful dress. Okay, very good answer. And number four, T. Number four is, is for you. T? Yeah. Okay. Uh, people in my country, yes, and Larry. Uh, generally where in in my country's people don't get generally where uh don't wear to sexy colors okay okay colors well done thank you t luon sentence number five for you Students in my country normally wear wear a t-shirt or a dress or okay. jeans and a song. Oh, okay. Very good. And the next one, beauty. Female teacher in Vietnam generally wear áo dài and um, Polite dress at school. Okay, very good. Number seven, T. Mm. My oh. Number seven, people in Vietnam. 
people in Vietnam, mostly dog was shot with their uh, revolving collar. To school, okay, okay, very good. And our last one, Luon, male teachers. Male teachers in Vietnam generally were um, were outside on uh, Monday in uh, in uh, formal formal clothes at school. Okay, very good. Well, well done, everyone. Those were some good conversations or sentences. Next, we are going to do a conversational card. So, over here, we are going to start with you, Beauty. So, Beauty, you can choose who you'd like to talk to. You can talk to Luone or you can talk to T. Beauty, you and your foreign friend are picking up clothes for a Vietnamese wedding party. You are going to ask each other questions and answer questions. Okay. So, Beauty, you will be asking the question. Who would you like to speak to? I would like to speak to Luon. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey, Luon, do, do we have to wear oh, our yeah, to someone's wedding? Yes. Uh, I think uh, it is suitable for for to uh, to some watch wedding. Okay, and what do people in Vietnam normally wear at weddings? I think people in Vietnam normally wear um wear dress dress um lux uh, wear luxury dress at weddings. I think so. Oh, and what do you usually eat in a wedding? Uh, I usually uh, eat um, shrimp. Shrimp uh, uh, is uh, the first deal in a wedding. Mm -hmm. And it's so hot day. Uh, can I just wear shorts to the wedding? Wedding uh, suitable for uh, everyone to wear uh, wear things uh, they like. And then, what do students in Vietnam wear then it's hot at school? I think uh, all students uh, wear a for wear uniforms, wear uh, their uniform school. Okay, very good conversation. Well done, Luone and Beauty. Both of you did very well. Now, next up, Luone, it is your turn to ask questions. So you have a Korean friend. Ask your friend about what they wear in Korea. Okay, so Luone, who would you like to talk to? I choose, I choose T. Okay, great. T will answer the questions and you will ask the questions. Go ahead, Luone, you ask. Okay, T, do Korean people still wear hanbok on the street? I think yes, because it's a custom uh, for Korea. Okay, uh, 
When do you think people normally wear out yeah, in Vietnam? I think uh, when go to school and which day? Yes. Uh, have you ever seen Korean people wear handbook at weddings? No, I don't see it. Yeah. In Korea, what do you normally wear when it's cold? Uh, sweater and loose bang. When it's cold in Vietnam, what do you normally wear? Uh, I think uh, whistler and lift the jacket. Yeah, thank you. Very good. Okay, you did very well. Very, very good. And now, T, you are going to be next. So, T, you will be asking the questions, okay? And you can ask Beauty. So, Beauty, you will be answering the questions. T, you will be asking the questions. Okay, whenever you're ready, T, you can start. Vietnam is known for your áo dài. When you know when are they wore áo dài? Um, I, when people generally wear áo dài uh, on Monday uh, and uh, some special day like wedding wedding days and um, some like um, third holiday uh, day uh, Vietnamese people generally wear áo dài. Uh, do you wear áo dài at school? Uh, I wear áo dài at school on Monday and uh, Thursday. What do family teacher and my teacher in Vietnam normally wear in, sco in school? Female teachers um, normally wear áo dài and some polite dress uh, in school or in university. Uh, and male teachers normally wear uh, some sui and sui and um, some, uh, yeah, I think some polite sui uh, in school. Uh, and what do you people generally wear in a job interview? Uh, people generally wear um, polite clothes. Uh, in a job interview and it's so much warmer in vietnam compared to canada what do you wear in it's cold uh when it's cold uh i wear a long sleeve t-shirt and um a pants um uh, yeah uh yeah, that's my answer. Thank you. Okay. Very, very good. Well done, everyone. Very good conversation there. Now, the next thing we are going to do is have a look at a video. Okay. I'm going to play the video for you, and then we will talk about it after we watch it. Okay. So, I just want to make sure everyone can see the video. Hello there. How are you? Today, we are going to talk about traditional children's clothes. What clothes do you wear at home? Your clothes. Most children around the world wear similar clothes. In some countries, children wear t-shirts, shorts, jeans, and running shoes. Japan. The traditional dress in Japan is a kimono 
there are many different styles. The kimono is a beautiful and colorful long robe. Children wear kimonos on special occasions. Scotland. In Scotland, the traditional clothing for men and boys is a kilt. A kilt is a type of skirt. They wear kilts at ceremonies and special occasions. Kilts are made from fabric called tartan. The tartan fabric belongs to a family or clan. Peru. In Peru, traditional clothes have bright colors and geometric patterns. They are made from alpaca wool. The clothing is warm because it gets cold in the mountain regions. Canada. The Inuit people in northern Canada need very warm clothes. These days, kids wear snowsuits, but their traditional clothes are made from animal skins. Seal skin is strong and waterproof, so it is ideal for boots and gloves. India Traditional clothing in India is made with beautiful fabrics. Girls wear saris, which are long dresses. Boys wear a kurta, which is a loose shirt. Russia. Traditional clothing for Russian children is beautiful and elaborated. Girls wear a dress called sarafan for traditional Russian folk songs and folk dancing. Germany. In Germany, boys wear lederhosen for special events. Lederhosen means leather trousers. German boys wear lederhosen with a shirt and woolen socks. School uniforms. Lots of children wear uniform to school around the world. School uniforms are different colors and different styles. Some children wear their own clothes at school. Do you use a school uniform? Do you like it? Let me show you some more examples of children's clothing around the world. Alaska, Venezuela, Ethiopia, Korea, Polynesia, Georgia, North America, Hawaii, Hungary. Now it is your turn to describe the type of clothing you're wearing, as well as their colors. But we will leave that as homework for you to present it in a few more days. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this class. Okay, so let's have a look at a few questions that we have about the video we watched. Beauty, let's start with you. So Beauty, when do Japanese children wear kimonos? Mm. Uh, children, Japanese children, uh, wear kimono. Uh, when they have, when they on a uh, special days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very true. They wear kimonos on special days. And beauty, what do you wear on special days? Uh, on special day, I wear oh uh, yeah, uh, traditional clothes in Vietnam. Oh, lovely. And tell me, Beauty, what do you wear to school every day? Uh, I wear to, uh, in high school, I wear uniform uh, school uh, and in, uh, uh, and I wear LEI yeah, on Monday. Uh, and, but in university, I wear um, my own clothes. Oh, okay. At university, you don't have to wear uniform. Do you think it's better than wearing uniform to school every day? I think it's better than uh, wearing to uniform to school every day. Why? Um, because it uh, don't have don't have don't, don't annoy me. I think so. Uh, I think it's so annoying because. Uh, the weather in Vietnam so hot, uh, and we must wear our yai, uh, so it's uh, annoying me a little bit. <laughs> yes, I understand. It can be a little bit annoying. Okay, very good answers, Beauty. Thank you. Luon, the next one is for you. Luon, what is a kilt? 
What do you remember from the video? What is a kilt? I think, yes, okay. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You think? Uh, I think the kit is, is a, a beautiful and colorful long rope. Yes. And who wears kilts, men or women? I think... Um, I think men and male and female. Okay, yeah, mostly male, but females do wear it too. And tell me, Luon, what is something special that you wear? When do you wear special clothing? Uh, can, can you, uh, can you ask again? I'm sorry. Sure, sure. <laughs> I was asking, when do you wear special clothing? So for weddings or maybe job interviews, when do you wear special clothing? I think when uh, um, I attend uh, attend a, a special day, I think so. Okay. And what do you wear to school every day? Do you wear uniform or no? What do you think, Luon? What do you wear to school every day? I think, um, I think uh, I should wear um, uniform, I uniform, I <laughs> uniform clothes at school. Okay, why? Why do you think you should wear uniform at school? Because uh, it shows formality when I uh, go into school. Oh, lovely answer. I like that. Very good, Luo. Thank you for answering the questions. And Thai, you are next. Thai, question number three. What do kids in Canada wear when it is cold? Is it different or similar to Vietnamese clothes? Uh, number three. What do you think? Uh, I think what in in for uniform makes it easy to identify students from which school, and it will. Uh, it will also um, it will also more formal. Mm -hmm. More formal, okay. And do you wear uniform to school? No. No. <laughs> What do you wear when you, when you are going to school? Uh, I I wear last pair and um, and t-shirts. 
Okay. And when you were in high school, you wore uniform? Yes. Yes. Did I you like did. it or not? Yes. <laughs> yeah. like you it. did like it? Really? Yes. Why? Uh, you, uh, it's beautiful and uh, informal. It was beautiful and very formal? Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's lovely. Okay, great. And then our last question is for you, um, Beauty. So, Beauty, what do kids in Canada wear when it's cold? Is it different or similar to Vietnamese clothes? What do you think, Beauty? Um, uh, I think different. Uh, it's because, different? Yes. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Vietnam is very hot. Okay. okay. And what, what kind of clothing do they wear in Canada when it's cold? Um, kids wear snow shoes and uh, skin. Yeah, and it gets very cold in Canada, right? Yes. Does it get this cold in Vietnam? Is it ever very, very cold in Vietnam? Yeah. It does? Okay, so what do you wear when the weather is very cold? What do you like to wear when the weather is very cold, Beauty? I wear long sleeve t-shirt and uh, jeans. Okay, and tell me, Beauty, is there anything you don't like to wear? Uh, I don't like to wear um, some hot clothes. Hot clothes? Why not? Uh, because the weather in Vietnam is uh, so hot and uh, we wear hot clothes. It's so uh, more hot. <laughs> It, it will make you feel even worse. Okay, I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Beauty. So, Luon, is there anything that you don't like to wear? Can you repeat again? I'm sorry. Sure. It's okay. My question is, is there anything, any clothing that you don't like to wear? Something you don't like? I think um, um, I think I like I like all. Really? Yes. <laughs> Hot clothing and cold clothing, all kinds of clothing. Yes, I think so. Okay. Uh, I um. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, do you like summer better or do you like winter better? Do you like warm clothing or cold clothing better? I think I like... Um, I like uh, cold clothes. Cold clothes better. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you, Luon. And lastly, T, what about you? Is there anything that you don't like to wear, T? What don't you like to wear? Uh, I... Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, T. <laughs> uh, I don't like wear dress and I don't wear two sexy colors. I usually just wear pants and t-shirts. Pants and t-shirts? Yes. What about if the weather is very warm? What would you wear? Um, you would still wear pants and t-shirts if the weather is very, very warm? Yeah. You don't wear no dresses? Yes. 
<laughs> and tell me, T, do you like winter or summer best? Um. What do you like better, cold weather or warm weather? I like cold. Cold weather. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Thank you, T. Beauty, did you want to say something? I I um just I think uh, that uh you call beauty and T is oh. similar. So <laughs> it sounds similar. Oh, you thought I called beauty when I called T. Oh, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No problem, beauty. That's okay. Well, Luon, beauty and T, we are at the end of the lesson now. So awesome work today, guys. You did very, very well. Do you have any questions? Uh, we don't have any questions for you. No questions. Okay, wonderful. Enjoy the rest of your week. I will see you next week. So bye-bye, everyone. Keep well. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye.